Hey guys, Chevy RC here. Um, upgrade plans for the TLR 22T. First thing, tires. Uh, I drove it today and uh, the camera can't pick it up too well. It looks balder. Well, oh, if you guys see that, that's not blood. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know what that is. I mean, this still has some tread left. It may look bald to you, but in real life, it's actually not bald in the center. Just because of the lighting, so yeah. Tires need to be upgraded. Okay, uh, sorry. Um, I had to do something and ignore these tools. I was actually checking something. Well, um, so my plans for upgrades, like I said, the tires. I'm going to get TLR uh, yellow wheels, which I do have, but um, I don't want to unglue tires. I don't want to mess up the foams inside. There are hard, there are softer foam than these ones, and yeah. Um, I don't know if this is a 1.0 or 2.0 or not. Because here's one thing that make that doesn't make sense. It looks like a bell crank system in there. In a 2.0, actually, I'm going to talk about the 1.0, especially the original TLR 22 come with a slider shaft. And uh, the 2.0 had the uh, bell cranks, and these ones look like bell cranks. And um, then when I found out about the 22T 2.0, it had the SCT um, hexes, uh, but these ones has the 22, uh, um, 22T hexes, which the 22T hexes are much wider than the 22 SCT uh, hexes. And what they did with that, they actually gave it a wider arm, but a narrower hex um, hub. And so what they did is brought the wheel in more, but at the same time brought the A-arm out. But the looks of these rear A-arms, they're ridiculously wide. So what does the 2.0... Okay, sorry about that again. Um, just stuffing away. Um... You see here, I got some, I got a little dirty. Um, so if it is a uh, 1.0, I'm going to upgrade the specs to 2.0 if it's not a huge difference. Uh, hopefully not. Um, if these are not Lungsford titanium turnbuckles, I might just get Lungsford. Uh, titanium screws. These ones are probably already titanium hinge pins, what they look like. Um, there's really not much I would want to upgrade in this body. When I think about it now, it's actually a bit thinner. A little bit thinner than a rustler body. I mean, it's thick up here, thick right here. Um, a little bit thin in front. And a lot thin of rear, well not rear, but sides, it's pretty thin. Uh, once again, thick in top, a little thin right here. If you actually press on it, it might feel thick to you, it might feel thin to you. Uh, it feels a little bit thinner than right here. I don't know, it just seems, the thickness all around, it seems to be slightly thinner than the rustler. Okay, I'm gonna take these body clips off. These are the associated body clips. Um, I don't have any more body clips. Uh, these came off of my SC10, so they're easy to pull in, easy to pull off, and I've never lost a single body clip. Okay, getting into the chassis. I see here that's already aluminum. Um, front end I can't really upgrade too much. Um, the body, I'm going to probably replace it with Proline body or J Concepts body, which I don't know. If Proline has a body for it, I'll probably get it. If that one ends up being trash, I will probably get aluminum parts for this thing. Like it has purple aluminum, I might change it to the TLR colors because I love the look. Um, let's see here. Um, Oh, and I want to get the aluminum bell cranks because these plastic ones has a little bit of slop, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's definitely not worse than SC10, that's for a fact. 
Um, I noticed this gear cover has a hole in it. And I guess it's for clearance? I don't know why. But the teeth in it, alright. I checked it, I drove it, it's fine. The motor, since it is a stock uh, motor, it's not my motor. Once I race it in stock class one time, I might change it up for a mod motor. That's probably the f one of the things I'm going to take out. Well, one of the top five things. Huh. Maybe the second thing I might change. Um, let's see here, what else? Oh, and I heard people talk about the brass pivot. This one's not brass, it's actually aluminum. If it's too uh, slidey for me at the racetrack, I might put a brass pivot in there. I don't know. Oh, speaking of um, not getting up. Well, actually, never mind about that. But this one has a four gear transmission. I can tell. I know it seems a bit dirty to you, but it's actually been dirty when I got it. At least in this rear end. It's a four gear transmission. If you don't know what a four gear transmission does, here, I'll keep the wheel straight. It's when you. It's when it gives you torque, I guess. But what happens is when you hit the throttle, it will. Go back really aggressively. If you hit the brakes, it'll go front. It'll transfer the way front um, instantly. You guys might think, hey, that might be good for racing. But no, what it will do is it will actually um, be too aggressive and it won't um, stable too much. It won't give enough. Uh, it's hard to explain, but what it does, it's, it's actually a bit too strong. With the third gear transmission, it won't. Um, do this aggressively so you could um, do uh, more consistent turns and stuff like that. Plus, it's re less rotating mass. Um, I just noticed that number there when I put the light there 27.5. I don't know what that means. Um, honestly. There's nothing really I can do next with this thing. I mean, this person already got a carbon fiber front shock tower, aluminum bolster mounts front and rear. Uh, I'm not sure if the uh, toe blocks or the, yeah, the toe blocks are um, upgraded or not, but some of the parts have been upgraded, like the. Hmm. What the heck are these? They don't seem to be a servo mount, but they do look interesting. Oh, oh they are. Wait a minute. They can't be. Oh, yes, they are. That's interesting. It's kind of like a... Hmm, interesting. Hmm. It is a servo mount. Wow. But, oh well. I mean, yeah, I'm even going to upgrade to 1. not 1.0, but 2.0 um, specs about getting a wider rear A arms and then uh, uh, different drive shafts and then the uh, uh, narrower hex hubs. Um, I mean, I just don't know. I just kind of want to know what is the difference between 1.0 and 2.0. And I just, I mean, the rear end, that's the only thing I know. I've looked everywhere. I just don't know. Um, I guess I could call Losi or TLR, I mean, to see if I can upgrade this car from a 1.0 to a 2.0. And if this thing drives awesome being a 1.0, guess how the 2.0 is going to be? Oh no, that's, that's pretty crazy. Maybe I'm just not used to race spec RCs or whatever. But that's it guys, uh, Chevy RCP.